can we quit playing with our food? Can you quit showing him to play with his food? I'm not. You are. I'm here. And with your Ow! mouth open. No. Oh no, here you go. Okay. <laughs> That's Eddie's way of fixing it, is to put A on there. <laughs> Does sister fix it? Yeah. She did? You just told her no. Look at that belly. I like your belly. Where's your belly? Easton, where's your belly? <laughs> where's your belly? No, that's your booty. <laughs> he always gets his belly and his booty confused. I, two totally different things. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, Easton's getting a haircut today. He is getting a haircut today. At six o'clock, we're gonna go get brother a new, another and haircut. I'm gonna get my nails and toes painted. Yeah, this weekend, huh? This weekend. No, Thursday. Sunday. Oh, Sunday? Yep. Oh. Dad, come Yay! We're Guys, guess whose birthday it is? Benny. Adeline's toys have a birthday pretty much every single day. I think it's an excuse, Adeline. What? I think it's an excuse to buy sweets and treats every day, right? Is that what it is? <laughs> The truth comes out. Good morning, guys. I think this is the first time I've actually like said hello in this vlog, but I finally have a chance to sit down. I am currently folding laundry story of my life. Like I swear, these kids and Chris. I swear, Chris probably goes through more laundry than the kids do. But anywho, so I know I have been kind of failing at vlogging. Life has been a little bit hectic lately. There's just a lot going on, and then just the kids. It's it's hard it's it's hard and um i just like i'll sometimes most of the time i'll be able to vlog and i'll vlog but the thing is finding time to be able to edit i can only really edit at night um after all the kids go to bed and emily as you guys know sleep in sleeps in our room um her crib is in our room so the computer we do have laptops but the program that i edit on is on our desktop which is in our room and sometimes she won't wake up if I go in there and start working on stuff but sometimes she will and at the end of the day the last thing I want to do is wake her up and then have to put her to bed all over again so sometimes I'm just like it's not even worth it so I'm so sorry that the vlogs have been kind of lacking lately but I am definitely trying to get back on track with everything we love looking back on videos I swear uh, at least once or twice a week we sit down and Adeline especially loves it but Easton does too he's getting to the point where he really likes looking back at old vlogs and we just sit and watch our old vlogs and it makes me kind of sad that I haven't been vlogging as much lately especially right now that Emery's so little because I, I don't know like I just want to have those vlogs to be able to look back on and all of that so I'm definitely trying harder um, so I have a few videos that I'm going to do for you guys this week and I'm excited for that but anywho this past weekend we went to SeaWorld um, for Adeline's birthday um, we did have like a little birthday dinner with family here um, on the day of her actual birthday but this weekend this past weekend we went to SeaWorld and because that's what she wanted to do for her birthday, we did SeaWorld. And it was so much fun. We got the year passes, so we're definitely going to go be going back um, next month for Easton's birthday as well. Um, but we had so much fun. We got the Aquatica and the SeaWorld passes. So we did Aquatica the first probably half of the day. Um, and then we did SeaWorld at the end. We've gone to SeaWorld plenty of times before, so we've seen most of the shows. Um, but we've never gone to Aquatica, so we were super excited for that, and the kids enjoyed it. I got sunburned, and I never get sunburned, and Chris got sunburned. The kids, thankfully, were all good. None of them got sunburned. Emery did amazing. I was super, super stressed out about how she was going to do just being out that long and being in the sun, and just, it's just a lot, I feel, for a almost five-month-old. Um... But she did amazing. We obviously we had the stroller so she could take her naps. I took my carrier as well. So if she wanted, you know, me to carry her, if, I, if it was just easier at that point, you know, she didn't want to be in the stroller the whole time. So I had her in the carriers at some point and we had like sun hats and all that. 
for all of them and she did super good we were there until 10 o'clock at night but it was so much fun the kids loved it easton this was easton's first time to sea world and he loved it at, at the shamu show um he was kind of i think he was kind of scared just because it was so loud if you've ever been to sea world you know how loud it gets in there and then with everybody making noise it's even louder and just like them talking is super super loud it hurts your ears and so I think he was kind of scared because it was just really loud in there. Um, so at first he, he would just close his eyes a lot because he's just like, uh, no. And he does that when he's scared. Um, but then he started getting excited about Shamu and all of that stuff. So he really enjoyed it. He loved the water and everything. And I do have a few clips. We had gotten a, girl, a GoPro from Chris's brother to be able to film because I wanted to have these memories and I wanted to just be able to vlog it for you guys. And um, the memory card was full when we got there. So no vlogging happened with the GoPro, which really sucks. But like I said, we're going to be going back next month. So I will definitely do some vlogging then. But I will insert the clips that we did get. Mind you, they are from Chris's iPhone. They're not the best clips. They're not the best quality. But I do want to have these in here. Not only for y'all to see, but also for us to have um, memory sake. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Instagram shop that I am completely obsessed with. I love to hear about small shops so I figured you guys would be interested in hearing about them too. So this shop is run by Emily and she is super sweet. Um, so she sent me these two clips and these are pacifier clips. She just came out with some new ones. The shop name is Noelle Gray and I'm completely obsessed. These are her macram or macrame clips. I am horrible. I have no idea how you pronounce it but I think it's macrame clips. The quality is super nice. I am just completely obsessed. I've already gotten so many compliments um, whenever Emery's worn it. She hasn't worn this one yet, which I absolutely love. Um, but she's gotten so many compliments on this one. And you can just tell how much work she puts into them. Um, and they are short clips, which I love because the longer the clips, they can be like a choking hazard and everything. So I really like these right here. Do you like your new clip? Yeah? So I'm going to leave the shop below. I always like to hear, like I said, about small shops. So I figured I would tell you guys some of my favorite. And she is one of my favorites right now. I absolutely love it. She also makes little wall hangings. Are you telling everybody too? Are you telling everybody too you want this one? 
Is that what you want? It is, huh? She also makes some bow holders and they're so cute. I need to order one for Emery because she still wears headbands, but she's going to be wearing bows, like the clip bows soon. And the wall hanger would just look super cute with, just ignore that part, but over here, like above there. So I'm thinking about ordering one of those. What is it? What is it? This is Emery's new thing. She loves to scream. Are you screaming? Huh? You like your voice? So yeah, I'm going to leave the link to her shop and her Instagram down below. And if you guys are interested in like cute little pacifier holders, like I said, she just came out with some new ones that are beaded, which are really cute as well. Um, but I'm going to leave all of that down below for you guys because we absolutely love them. And they just like are the perfect accessory for every outfit. Time for your haircut. Are you ready for your haircut? Oh gosh, it's very zoomed in. Are you ready for your haircut? Yep, look how crazy your hair looks. You're gonna come out a changed man. Woman. Boy. It is like 10 o'clock right now and all of the kids are in bed. I'm about to go to bed. I should clean the house but i just don't feel good so i'm gonna go to bed i've been so tired lately i think i'm just like need to catch up on sleep so i'm gonna go to bed and it's not even probably let's see i think it's actually almost 11. yeah it's 10 49 so it's not super early but it's earlier than i've been sleeping i haven't been going to sleep till like midnight or one so i'm gonna try to catch up on a little bit of sleep because i've had no energy whatsoever lately but I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog here. And we will see you guys next time. Say bye, babe. He's doing homework. Bye.